The Revival Book. Capable of reviving a player who was once thought to be dead. Some say it's a legend, some say it exists locked in a vault beneath the bedrock, and some say it's already fallen into the wrong hands. No one knows for sure how it came to be, but rumor has it, the book has resurfaced once again. By using the power of this book, armies of the dead could be risen, torture could be an infinite cycle of suffering, and its owner would be unstoppable. Stories of this book date back thousands of years ago, when a cryptic figure used its capabilities to resurrect a powerful demon from the void. The figure and this demon created the Void Pact, and combined themselves into a creature able to cross through other dimensions. Their goal was simple, yet ruthless. Devour every generated block in every world ever created, along with all its inhabitants. Their plan would have succeeded, if it weren't for the hero of our story. A glowing green figure with the power to nullify the Void Pact and banish the demon back beneath the bedrock for all eternity. The imprisonment of this demon allowed for new civilizations to rise again, which brings us back into the modern era of Minecraft, which we all love and enjoy peacefully. Wow, that was a lot to take in all at once. I'm certainly glad I wasn't around for all that craziness. I don't even want to imagine what the world was like back then. I'm actually surprised that this mural is still intact, considering I haven't really traveled far from that mesa I ran away from. Between my imprisonment, Mother Picker's funeral, that huge maze, the gigantic pit to the void, and now this, I don't even know what to think anymore. I seem to be at the center of everything that's happening in the world right now, so I think I should go look around for some neighboring towns and spread the word of what's going on. I should probably be feeling stressed right now, but the atmosphere here is calming and peaceful this morning. I'm so used to living in more open areas, so the change of scenery is actually nice. But considering that I have the revival book now, I'm guessing someone's going to be coming after me sooner or later, and I should probably head further away from that portal I came through. Oh, I think I see something up ahead. It looks like some sort of wall or town. Maybe there's people around here I could spread the word to. Hello? Anyone home? Maybe I should just go inside and see what's up? I mean, I don't want to just barge in and interrupt, but I think it's important that somebody knows what's going on, and I could use the help. So far, this town seems a bit deserted, but I'll check in some of the houses just to be sure. Nothing too interesting here, so I'll go over and check the other one. All these houses seem pretty empty besides a few scraps of food, but I don't want to steal from anyone, so I'm just going to leave it here. This chest seems to have a lot more stuff than the other ones, so maybe they're just gone for the day? Yeah, it's pretty weird. I don't see anyone here, and it kind of seems empty this town. Oh, there's a little cemetery over here in the back. I should pay my respects and plant a flower nearby. No, that's impossible. Oh, there's a little cemetery over here in the back. I should pay my respects and plant a flower nearby. There we go. I'll plant one on each side. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that mean the most to us. Well, I guess I should just head out now. I don't see anything else of use, and there's no one around, so... I don't have much reason to stay here. No, I can't do it. That would be terrible to even think about. But shouldn't I learn how to use it? I could use it for good if I figure it out. Starting from here. Yeah. This is just a little test. Okay, I have the book. I'm going to use it on the grave. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Okay, that didn't work. Do I throw it on top? No, that didn't work either. I don't know what else to try. Maybe it only works on recently killed beings? I'm sorry, pig. But it's for the greater good. Let's hope this works. No, that didn't work either. Maybe it only works on the undead? I see there's some sort of mine shaft down here. I could go down there and look for some mobs. Wow, the whole place is picked clean. These people must be some serious cave miners. I don't even see a drop of coal left. But something I do see is this pit that goes down deeper into the cave, and I'm going to go look for a mob down here. So far, this part of the cave looks a lot less picked through, and maybe there's even someone down here right now. Maybe up this small ladder? Uh, it just seems like a little chest room. All that's here is an unwritten book. That's a bit strange. Looks like some sort of research journal, some sort of illness, potion recipes written in some weird way, how to make another portal, seems like they had a hard time finding diamonds, some whack gibberish, some sort of color coding, and three notes that I just don't understand. This book is either really outdated or was written by children because the information in here is just weird, right? Well, there doesn't seem to be anyone down here, so I might as well go look for a mob to test out the book. And this dark cave looks like a perfect place for a mob to be hiding. I see a zombie up ahead, I'm gonna go kill it. Yep, I definitely meant to get hit. 
And now for the moment of truth. Nope, it didn't work. If I throw it? No, that didn't work either. Is this book faulty or something? I don't get it. It's titled a revival book. I read a legend about it on that mural, but nothing seems to work. I would think that this book is fake, but I found it on that pedestal in the portal room in the maze, so it must be important somehow. I must be missing some important detail, but I don't know what it could possibly be. Trying to use the book doesn't work, throwing the book doesn't work, undead, animal, does not matter. The only place I could think of finding more info on this book is the ancient library that's hidden on the roof of the nether. It's been a while since I've been there, but I think I remember how to get there. All I need is a nether portal and two blocks of gold to change to where it brings me. I could use the iron that I found in the maze to make a pickaxe, and gold shouldn't be too hard to find down here. Water goes here and here, lava goes there and there, I'll take you, crafting the gold blocks, placing the gold blocks, lighting the portal, and jumping in. I haven't been here since I was a child, so it'll be cool to see what's changed after all these years. And here it is on the horizon, I see it coming into view. No way, this place is completely destroyed. Everything's on fire and it seems like explosions went off everywhere. I guess I'll check inside and see if anything survived. Wow, I don't even know what to say. All this history, my childhood, everything just gone. Bookshelves are destroyed, the place is completely in ruin. I guess understanding how this book works just wasn't meant to be. And to make matters even worse, Mother Picker Jr. is still nowhere to be found, and I don't know if I'll ever see him again. I guess the only thing left for me to do is head back and be productive somewhere else. I don't know where I should go, who I should see, but there's no point of staying in this big pile of rubble. Wait a minute, that's not bedrock, that's deep sleep. I don't remember ever seeing this before. I guess I could just mine it and see what's underneath. It just seems like some sort of pit. I'll break the bookshelf too to get a better look. Yeah, it just seems like a really deep, dark pit. Normally, I would just turn around and head the opposite way, but at this point, I have nothing else to lose. I'm gonna learn how to use this book, and when I do, I'm bringing back my-